So, in my new position, as a, what is my position? I'm the Public Relations and Recruitment Coordinator for the University of Fort Hare International Students Association. Um, and I wrote this letter. I, it, um, one of the things, well, I have to do a lot of bunch of things, liaison with other groups, and, and I guess recruitment means I go out and try to get people, mainly postgraduates, to come to the university, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Well, they still haven't defined my job, so I just define myself. But one of the initiatives I'm, I'm starting out right away for a number of reasons is um, writing, uh, I have a template, uh, a, a letter, a template that I've written that should, should go to all the um, international student guards, uh, called cadres, you know, each, each, each individual country has representatives, so they'll get this and then they write this letter, well, they'll take this template, then write a letter to their embassies, to their ambassadors. Okay, and the reason I'm like the historic University of Fort Hare in the Eastern Cape of the Republic of South Africa is currently celebrating its centenary. Right? One of the campus um, this project projected for this year is to relocate the international students' um, offices, right? um, you know, the administrative offices, uh, to a facility that would reflect the decades of international scholars passing through the vulnerable institution, past, present, future. Okay. The international students will be doing something we think quite unique. We are fundraising independent of the institution as they uh, renovate and build our new facilities for many African and global students who choose our Alice campus. Okay, because we, we have a campus in, in East London, in, in campus in Bishu, and it's the Alice campus, the main campus, and that's where the new um, uh, center, the, the new International Student Center is going to be. Okay? In front of the new facility, we are erecting flagpoles. Now, remember, I come from New York, and so I'm used to seeing the United Nations. And the United Nations has all these different flags from the different nations. You see how that works? So for our International Student Center, I want to have flagpoles, just like United Nations, in front of the different African nations and other nations that, that come to, um, to, to the Alice campus, the students come to the Alice campus. Okay? Um, uh, we will be erecting flagpoles from, from African steel, African steel. Uh, to fly flags of the many nations represented by the international student body. Now, I, I really say a four slide slide slope, but now I've changed it. Here it is. The slope, you know, the, the base for the uh, man is going to be three sided. Well, three is one of those numbers, it's a sacred number, an African number I particularly like. So, uh, have a man, uh, Fine Arts Department, Reggie, he, uh, he helped me. Well, he, I designed it, he sort of put it together because he's an artist. I'm a whatever I am. Anyway, so that's the base, right? And then on the base, what you would have, say the country, let me just pick a country, say, uh, say uh, um, uh, Malawi, you know? So then you, you might have it, let's say, let's say this side like this. So how you might have Malawi, like that. And then you'd have some writing about Malawi, maybe, you know, pre-colonial era, something like that. And on another side, you have something else, maybe the struggle era, and then maybe the future, whatever. Then you have this writing for Malawi. So Malawi is basically uh, uh, going to, Pay for this base as well as the flag. Now let me just put, try to put this together. Uh, it's just a mock-up, see, because you know when I was an undergrad at another university in the United States, namely uh, uh, Rutgers. Hey, some action! The students, the students are having a good time. This is centennial, but see, they got to protest because there's a bunch of stuff happening. Anyway, so 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 the, the flag will go like this, and then the flag. The flag would, you know, the flag with the flying flagpole, you see, like that. I'm just using the uh, flag for, I don't have a small flag, so I'm just using the flag that I have for uh, uh, black liberation, you know, the red for the blood, the black for the race, and the green for the vegetation of the land. Or the material of the land. See, and then the flag would be like that, so the flag, you know, you have a flagpole like that. And then, but here's the trick on the flagpole, on the actual flagpole, and I'm thinking this having it, it rings that keep on coming down. Well, you we tell it. You would etch the, the, the not the student's name, but the student number of the international student. So, say, say if this was the United States thing, I'm from the states, then I would my number would be etched in here. You see? And now, now this first year, this when we're doing it, any student, any international student that part of this thing, they will have to etch whether they graduate or not. But after that. Every you know every year after international students graduate, then you would etch the the uh, number, the student number of that 
of that student. So like DRC or you know Senegal or, or, or Cameroon or whatever, you know, Nigeria, uh, uh, they would etch their numbers in there. Now what also happens, now remember this money would come from, initially would come from the, uh, each, the, each nation would sponsor their, their mooring as well as their flagpole and we asked them to send two flags, you know, because maybe whatever, and one flag would go up and then you know if something happens, you know, like that, okay. But every year, here's what would happen. Every year, uh, in some ceremony, the students that, that, that graduate, they would get their numbers etched in their prospective flags. So, so from Ghana, then that Ghana and Ghanaian student would etch their number in there, right? See how that works? Okay, great. Now, what happens, you say, well, suppose somebody is graduated a long time ago, wouldn't they want to have their name etched in a flagpole for a new thing? Yeah, so say it's like Robert Mugabe, whatever year he graduated in, so Zimbabwe, the Zimbabwe pole would etch Robert Mugabe's name in there. You see, it works wonderful. So but that's that's the initiative we want to want to do, and um, it just comes from me, T, from the Patterson State the Trans Debate, letting you know what I only suspect. On a very lively University of Fort Hare campus.